Lahaina couple is recounting a terrifying escape from their beloved community. They say the Lahaina wildfire started behind their home. As Mahalani Richardson tells us, they believe they were among the first to get out. Mahea. Well, Ash and Mark, the Perkins moved to Lahaina to retire last year from California. They lived on Mill Street near the Maria Lanaquila Catholic Church, but that afternoon they thought they were going to die. Oh my God, I think we need to load up the car maybe. Oh my God, it is so close. Jill and Mike Perkins say the Lahaina fire started just behind their Mill Street home around 3.30 Tuesday. With no notice to evacuate, they jumped in their car with their dog, two cats, and just a few items. Oh my God, this is a nightmare. As the angry flames roared all around them. <laughs> we have the kitties, yeah. Sunny, I have you. Yeah. They desperately tried to figure out how to escape. I thought we were gonna die. I said, oh my God, this can't be happening right now. Oh, <laughs> that's the tree, the monkey bar tree. Next to our house. Their Lahaina home devoured as they fled. That's our house going, that's coming. I only took a videotape because I knew that that was probably the last time we'll be there. And it is just like unbelievable to watch. Just burn right by it and keep going. Oh my God. The Perkins say traffic was at a standstill because of live wires over Honoa Pi'ilani Highway. Then Hiko Cruz put down plywood over the lines and they drove over it one car at a time. They say each second was excruciating. Oh my God. That's probably 80 cars in front of us. I don't know. It just, you know, 60 or 80 cars. It just seemed like every second was 10 hours waiting and I kept saying do we get out and run things are hitting our car like branches and embers were hitting our car uh, a live wire hit our car yeah, we had a, our car we had a power a, uh, a live power line hit the top of our car I was terrified and I was concerned for our our family and for all of the other people there. They made it to Kahului in two and a half hours, their house now in ashes, but memories of their beloved Dickinson Plantation home and Lahaina still strong. Now, thanks to insurance, the Perkins are now living in a hotel in Wailea. They say there is survivor's guilt, but they are determined to rebuild and help their community come back. I'm Mahia Lani Richardson, Hawaii News Now. Thank you, Mahia.